Hi there, it's Mark Sebastian, founder of Option Pit, and this is the option, the stock market and option volatility report. Reminder, this is for education purpose only, shouldn't be considered best advice. Options have risk. Hey, again, if you're interested in our mentoring services, reach out to us. Um, and our, uh, you can check out our memberships. Uh, you know, our black uh, sale is over, but uh, we're all obviously willing to discuss our, uh, our awesome memberships. And you get, with these memberships, um, a certain amount of courses included. For our instance, Platinum comes with 10 of our courses. All right. Comes with a nine month subscription option live and three to four one on one sessions. All right. It's pretty freaking awesome. It's the deal of the year. So, um, you know, if, if you're interested in learning how to trade, reach out to us, uh, marketoption.com or uh, 88trade01. Additionally, if you are going to be in Chicago on um, Wednesday from 4 30 to 6, I'm speaking at SIBO on. Uh, systematic trading, how to use ball to trade, uh, and there's cocktails afterwards. So if you're local, come to Chicago and get yourself a, uh, a drink um, and uh, learn from me. Speaking of learning from me, uh, here we are. The S&P is up a little bit. The NASDAQ is flat. The Dow is flat. Basically, flat across the board. We're getting a little lift in volatility. Why? Well, because... Um, we have uh, this whole uh, G20 thing that people are concerned about, uh, people are paying attention to, and they think, uh oh, that could be problematic. So, um, you know, despite the fact Vol's in a little bit in the futures, uh, the VIX is up a touch. Uh, and um, kind of premium across the board is, is pretty flat. Although, it, like I said, if you look at VIX futures themselves, which I think are a better predictor of where volatility might go. They are pricing for volatility to come off pretty significantly on Monday. Deal or no deal, I think fall comes in. All right. Um, looking around, Apple, which has been kind of the canary, down a touch. When Apple's had those big up days, the market definitely follows. It's been able to be green. It's been able to be green when markets have been able to green without Apple. But they haven't had their big days without Apple. And so I think Apple is going to be looking at watch Apple to go green. If that goes green, we're going to have a very big day. The other one to watch, IWM, the Russell 2000, uh, it has been the canary. It started a rally yesterday really early before everything took off and absolutely led the market. Um, hook, line, and sinker, uh, it led the market. You could absolutely see what was going on. Um we're going to be looking at a few retail names. I kind of like, uh, I think Nike still looks interesting. Uh, I think the Qs look kind of interesting still. Um, there's going to be a lot of different names that, that we're going to play around with and, and trade today. So I, I think uh, Andrew's coming on the show uh, at 10 uh, for the Mark and Andrew show. I think we're going to have a ton to talk about. And it should lead to some some fun discussions uh as it usually does um so that is uh kind of what i'm seeing today and on the day i think you're going to see everything go green uh and it could be nicely green by the end of the day uh and that should uh should change things around all right folks i hope everybody has a great morning and i will talk to you soon